Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to see how to retrieve data from object search in Salesforce Einstein bot. If you have any critical business logic to check from the data that is fetched from object search, then we can make use of Salesforce auto launched flow. Let's look at uh, the bot uh, setup. I have my main menu, which is called from the welcome dialog. And in my main menu, I am uh, sending a message and then uh, I'm having a static question to enter the account phone number. Once they enter the account phone number, it is stored in ACCT phone number uh, variable. I'm using object search from the account object. I'm getting all the account records, which is matching the phone number entered by the visitor. I'm getting the account number and industry field. Maximum, if there are more matching account records, it will just get three account, re account records. And I'm storing it in ACCT list object list variable. I'm sorting it by account number in ascending order. Next, I'm using a dynamic question. The values are populated in this question from the ACCT list, which is uh, stored by retrieving the data using the object search. I'm displaying the account number as a button for the end visitors uh, to select. I have a backup rule. If some uh, runtime exception occurs, it will transfer it to my agent. The expected response format is uh, object because uh, it will display a set of account uh, records. From the account records, we will be able to select one account record and then it will be stored in selected account record. If you have a uh, business requirement where you wanted to do some decision based on the selected account records uh, field values. For example, here I am getting account number and industry. So if you want to decide something based on the industry, then what we can do is we can call an auto launched Salesforce flow. So this is my auto launched flow. This is my input variable. It will expect account record. And I have uh, two variables of text data type. It is available for output. And for account number also, I have uh, set it as output variable, data type as text. Once this flow is called, the account record will be passed to this account record variable. Using uh, assignment uh, element in the flow, I'm assigning account industry and account number value using the industry field value from account record and account number field value from the account record variable. Since these two are output variables, I will be able to gather that information in my bot. So the bot will call the flow by passing the selected account record, which is selected in this uh, dynamic question. The flow will assign account industry value and account uh, number. I am passing those values to selected account industry variable and selected account number variable in my bot using two different uh, message uh, elements and displaying the selected account number and selected account industry. Let's look at a demo of this. So I'm initiating a chat. It will go to the welcome uh, dialog. It will call the main menu. And then uh, from the main menu, it sent a message. It is asking for the phone number. So I'm going to enter one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, zero. I have set up three accounts with the same phone number. So it will 
fetch all those three account records and then it is displaying so the account search is done it is displaying it the account numbers are displayed now once i select it will store that uh, account record in selected account record and then it will call the flow and then it will pass the account record and from the flow <clears throat> i should be able to get the account industry and account number and those values will be stored in selected account industry and uh, selected account number so i am selecting uh, test 1 so the selected accounts number is test 1 selected accounts industry is agriculture so i am able to get that information and display using the auto launch to flow so the test 1 account industry is agriculture and the account number is test 1 I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching.